Welcome to episode 52, Frank Wang, The Drone King. This is an outline of episode 52. There are three reasons why we study Frank Wang. First, he is currently the drone king. His company, DJI, has 70% of the civilian drone market. Second, DJI is the first Chinese company to lead a global tech revolution. Third, at age 36, his industry can still grow a hundred folds. For civilian drones, the sky is not the limit. AI has developed a model that can accurately spray crops in difficult to reach areas. It's also talking to Europe's biggest emergency response network about how to use drones in search and rescue, firefighting and surveillance. The options, say Perry, are limitless. The early years, Frank Wang was born in 1980 in Hangzhou, China. His father was an engineer. His mother was a school teacher. They both quit government job and turned entrepreneurs in Shenzhen, China. So he came from a very wealthy Gujua family. As a child, he fell in love with a red helicopter in a children's comic. This is the model of the red toy helicopter that inspired him as a kid. As a child, he dreamt of a personal robot that he could fly around and begged his parents to buy him a remote-controlled helicopter. They did, and like any other child, he crashed it immediately. However, unlike most kids, Wong set out to fix his toy, and from there began his journey on the road to being a drone tycoon. In high school, he was an average student, and he gained admittance to East China Normal University. In 2003, at the age of 23, he quit East China Normal University after three years, and he applied to study overseas. With his average grade, he was rejected by MIT and Stanford. Instead, he ended up in Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, where he began studying electrical engineering. At the university, Frank would work on his helicopter passion until 5 a.m. in the morning. In 2005, he convinced the professor to accept his graduation thesis. He met Professor Li Se Jin, who appreciated his passion. Even though Frank was a C student, he admitted him into the master's degree. Professor Li's rationale was performance more important than evaluation. Evaluation here meaning grade. It would take Frank five years to get his master's degree. Also, Professor Li and Hong Kong University of Science and Technology helped raise two million Hong Kong dollars for him to launch his company. In 2006 by Frank Wong, an engineering student at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. In 2006, his breakthrough came when he successfully developed the flight controller. The flight controller. This flight controller was what gave DJI a distinct advantage over the competition at the time. It allowed drones to hover in the air without the aid of a pilot tethered to a single spot. Other drones at the time needed constant attention and maneuvering to remain stable. Then came the first major crisis in 2008. Within two years, all 10 employees left the company. Frank gave three reasons. First, he was a perfectionist. Second, his blunt words hurt the feelings of his employees. Third, there was a dispute who should get how many shares. He wanted different people to get different shares based on abilities. This is Frank's two adaptations. First, he moved his production to Shenzhen, the Silicon Valley of China. He got new partners and he had a fresh start. Second, he would try to balance brain with emotion. A charming sign by Wang's office reads, those with brains only and do not bring in emotions in Mandarin. Frank still has two more battles to fight. Battle number one, Metal reputation of made in China equal poor quality. China has money, but its products are terrible. Its service is terrible, and you have to pay a hefty price for anything that's good. Rather than settling for an inferior product, Wang did what many thought was impossible and built products that were as good, if not better than the competition, designed and manufactured in China. Metal number two, fight overseas competitors. In particular, 3D robotics in the US headed by Chris Anderson. Chris Anderson was editor-in-chief of Wire magazine 
for 10 years prior to joining 3D Robotics. The fight between DJI and 3D Robotics was made even more bitter because 3D Robotics hired Colin Green as its marketing director. Colin Green had previously worked for Frank Wang in DJI. Here's the picture of Colin Green with the white phantom and the black solo from 3D Robotics greatly resemble the white phantom. In the end, the battle was won by DJI with better quality and the ability to lower its prices. DJI won and 3D Robotic left the drone business. Both Chris Anderson and Colin Green lost their jobs. In the meantime, DJI has grown exponentially to capture 70% of the commercial drone market in the world. 11 to 130 million in 2013 after the release of the original Phantom. Since then, the company has gone from strength to strength and is now valued at well over $1 billion. Today in 2017, DJI is worth about $10 billion. Next, DJI faces three big challenges. Challenge number one, regulations. Regulation is a, is a really hot topic, and um, the state of regulation varies greatly by country. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of countries that have very well-established rules and certification processes to do commercial work with drones, and they've, in fact, used risk-based approaches. So, you know, a drone under two kilograms or four pounds might be in one category uh, that is allowed to, say, fly over people. Um, and uh, so we're seeing a lot of variation. Uh, here in the U.S., uh, we're a little bit behind in regulation, but we do expect it to come, and all of, the, the, all of us are in, in talks with the appropriate authorities to, to figure out how to do it safely. Regulation is a, is a really important factor in the success of this industry. Challenge number two, delivery by drone store to door. Yeah, so in the delivery, we see a lot of people very interested in delivery, and I think it's going to require quite a bit of infrastructure to make it work. So if you're talking about what happens in the very long term, I think drone delivery is, is a perfectly viable thing to assume might exist. Um, in, the, in the short term, I think it's going to be much harder to allow drones to un autonomously deliver packages, certainly to your doorstep. Challenge number three, privacy law. Right, privacy uh, is a, a concern, and um, you know, what we've always pointed out is that uh, invasion of privacy is, is already something that there are laws for, and you know, they of course vary by region. Uh, what have I learned today? The commercial drones could be like the PC industry 35 years ago, so there are still a million other applications waiting to be discovered. We might have seen only the first 1 or 2 percent of the drone industry. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be Rank Rank 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.